All right. Appreciate you guys for waiting on me. Exactly. 10 minute, a 10 minute bang. I don't know about all that. Feels like I reach in the cloud. Feels like it's better when you stroke me. Oh, no, I definitely didn't shit. All right, let's see what the fuck um, Killer Mike was talking about when he says that he feels it's important for black men to marry black women. So he wants us to marry wiggage, weebage, attitude, um, all of that type of shit. All right, give me a sec. Let me change it. Let me see. So when I say you, I married a black woman, Walt T. Williams said there's only one case he agreed with in terms of segregation. And people were like, well, what is that? Because you've been free thinking. You're over here writing conservatives. And he says, that's when it comes to marriage. You should marry a black woman. Mm -hmm. Because who's going to understand me like a black woman? Mm -hmm. Who going who gonna to understand my pain, my strife, my struggle? Who's going to understand? Why do niggas always say pain, strife, and struggle? Like, what type of pain does a nigga really have? I'm trying to figure out. What type of fucking pain does a nigga really have? Like pain and strife and struggle. Any woman can understand that shit. Why does it take a black woman to understand my pain, strife and struggle when nothing is like, what, what am I supposed to do? Go home and be like, damn, like, hey, baby. Gerald, what? Man, man, they was tripping on me at work today. Like, I think it's a racism issue. Like, I'm over here doing everything I'm supposed to do on the Amazon line. For some reason, they singling out me because I'm the only brother on the line. They singling out me. Like, I don't even know what more I could do. I'm really out working. All the niggas is there. So I really don't know what the fuck. So what's he saying? We need a, a, a black woman to baby us to help us deal with... um. <laughs> to help us deal with quote unquote, you know, stylistic racism in the workplace or discrimination. Bro, I literally hate hearing this type of shit. There's no, there's no ethnicity of woman that is qualified to, to form fitting a man based on ethnicity. That shit makes no fucking sense. There's some old school way of thinking, bro. There's some old school way of thinking. Current day black women, American black women, literally probably one of the worst you can get. Maybe having wiggage, weavage, now they bodies fake. Remember black women used to frown up on Caucasian women earlier in the 2000s and shit like that for having fake ass titties and shit. Now a gang of black chicks are argumenting for the same shit they used to frown up on. Fake tits, fake ass hair, fake Timu wigs, coats and coats of makeup, fake fucking asses and everything. Uh, look, I don't agree with this. Black, if there's any black men in this chat, don't think that you have to be gridlocked to only fucking with a with a black chick. Now, put it like this: I feel like every black dude should explore every ethnicity. You should never have anybody that's gonna make you feel bad for wanting to fuck with a different ethnicity. I mean, the continents and every like airplanes exist, boats exist. Communication exists. So why would you gridlock yourself into black women when the world is so vast for you to explore so much more? On top of that, black women don't have culture. American black women lack culture. So why would you gridlock yourself into a woman that lacks culture? And if she says, now if somebody says, well, hold on, wait, LTG black women do got culture though. What do you consider a black woman with culture? What's her culture? The electric slide, soul food, flavors of Kool-Aid. Um, shit, help me out. 
wig, wiggage, weavage, hip hop, Balrog films. Yeah, chopped up oxtail, which is not even African American culture. See, what a look, what a black woman will really do to a black man in current day is destroy you. So it's, it's, it's almost like the worst type of woman to have if you're black. Now, if you're a white guy and a black woman fucks with you, oh, she'll treat you like a king. If you're an Asian guy and a black woman fucks with you, she'll treat you like a king. A Mexican man, a king. An Indian man, a king. A nigga treats you like shit. Everybody knows that the majority of the time when black women date outside of their ethnicity, they will worship that other ethnicity because they can't believe they landed a white, Hispanic, Asian, Indian, whatever type of man. Girl, you got yourself one of them Indian niggas. Ooh. Now, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all be fucking with that Uncle Ben's and Mahatma Gandhi. Girl, don't be playing me like that. Why are black women like that with rugs? I don't know, shit. Like I said, black men get extremely disrespected by black women more than anybody. I would say black women disrespect black men on a grand scale more than any ethnicity. The fucking thing is, look, look at the clip we just list. Look at the clip we fucked with yesterday where the black women was judging that man for having dreadlocks and being an electrician. The thing about it when you're black, it's almost nothing you do will ever be good enough for any ethnicity if it's regular. When you're black, the standard is set so much higher. Whether it be any ethnicity, especially for if you're built like if you're a nigga that's built like me, if you're one of those athletic archetypes, oh, my God, it's even worse for you. You meet people's family and parents. Oh, what, what are you? An athlete? Different ethnicity. Oh, do you play basketball? If you're dating outside your ethnicity. Oh, what are you, oh wow. Athletic. Oh, you, what do you play professional team or? Oh, man, you're same age as almost LeBron James. Oh no, I, I'm an engineer. Oh, you're an engineer. How come you just play basketball? You don't play football with your physique, your genetics. Man, look, black, look, black guys. We got it hard enough. We really don't. <laughs> we got it hard enough. So why the fuck? I, look, I'd rather deal with the adversity and dexterity from dating outside of my ethnicity than being judged to hell. And being shit on by a woman of my own ethnicity. On top of that, um, we also have too much of the same background to even bring in a different blend of spices and herbs. Like, if if I'm a black guy, right? If I'm a black guy and I'm fucking with a mixed girl, that's ha even if she's half black, half something else, at least she's bringing something different to the table than just straight Kool-Aid stories, straight barbecue stories, straight getting whipped with with belt stories, mom yelling stories, dad yelling stories. Like you got the same story as me. So I don't fuck with like, I don't want to talk about the same shit that I dealt with, with somebody that had the same backstory as me. That's no fun. That's no fun. I want somebody completely different from a different background, different ethnicity or a different upbringing to where either she's biracial with a black parent and something else, or she's completely differently and not black. Cause I, I like to learn and soak up different things. I like to learn and soak up different things. I don't want to just like, I grew up and seen black chicks in school and shit like that. I don't want to just grow up and keep doing that. That's just boring. That's like, that's like knowing the world is vast and, and huge. Yeah, you just stay in South Central your entire life. I ain't never leaving, man. I love the hood. Shit, nigga ain't even really tripping or traveling like this. Nigga got everything I need, nigga. Walmart up there, Target up there type shit. Nigga got a swap meet over there on the block. Nigga, we got the corner store. It's the same type of mentality. You said serious question just for the sake of conversation. If most black men in America are stopped Hold on, stop the mating with black women. What happens to black people? Nothing. They just become hybrids. You just create them light-skinned niggas in the NBA to, that are sharpshooters. 
but that's it. You just create Lamelo balls and Jello balls and fucking and Clarkson's and all that type of shit. That's it. You just get him. You just get a, a nigga with some good hair. I mean, he's still gonna his base still gonna be black. XX rocks. Yo, shout out for the tier one. On top of that, your son probably might fuck with a black chick. You're not erasing anything. You're all you're doing is just morphing niggas into hybrids. That's it. Yeah, exactly. You get a you get a Hachimura. Like what? Are you, what are you afraid of? Uh, what are you afraid of? Of ethnicity mixing? You're still going. To, you're still going to get a a black daughter or son. They're just going to be biracial. Yeah. So I don't. I don't agree with these type of takes where people say a black man should only fuck with a black woman, even if a black. Like honestly, look, I even think black women go better with men that aren't black because it's the it's the perfect balance. Like a black woman is like a strong figure. Black women are, they're strong, right? Because of the way black women are brought up to like really be strong ass individuals. Like I come from a masculine background of women. Nobody in my background of women are weak women. They're all strong minded, heavily opinionated. And all of those women in their relationships always wore the pants. There's not one woman in my family who doesn't like basically conquer the dude that she's with. I come from a background of all strong black women, all masculine, strong black women. No black women in my family are weak minded at all. They speak their mind. They tough everything. And I honestly think that balances out. If you're a strong black woman, get you somebody from a different ethnicity. That their culture might be a little bit different where. They don't mind that masculine shit. But when you have a masculine, you know, a black man's personality usually is masculine. You have a black woman's personality usually is masculine. We bump heads. I see you guys arguing in parking lots, arguing in Walmart, looking like you're miserable with each other. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pushing a basket in, in stores looking miserable. It's too much of a clash. There's nothing new. There's no new spark. But every time I see a black woman with a Hispanic dude, a white dude, an Asian dude, an Indian dude. Oh, man, those black women. Hey, just like when you see a black man with a different chick, they just look like they just, oh, this is heaven on earth type shit. I don't know. I just think like black American men and black American women make the worst relationships unless either party is biracial, honestly. But we talk about straight black men, straight black women usually be miserable. Interracial marriage has the highest divorce rate. I mean, why are you getting married? The fuck? You said I'm literally all allocating relationship problems to race. I'm just going off based off what I see. It's, it's hard. It's going to be hard for a black guy to find a solid straight black woman. You're going to be shitted on because you don't make a certain amount of money. You're going to be looked at as a peon status if you're not making six figures a year. You're going to be compared to rappers. You're going to be compared to basketball players. If she had a crush on Chris Brown growing up, you'll never be better than Chris Brown to her. You're fucked. If she if she loved Drake growing up, you'll never be better than Drake. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just speaking from motherfucking experience, bro. Like can I react to Mr. Beast making his friend face all of his fears? Was covered in spiders at the bottom of the lake in a car? We could do that. I'll put it in my folder. Bro, Drake is black and Jewish. He's a hybrid. Stop just saying Drake is Jewish. Like Drake's father is literally a black man and he has a Jewish mother. He is a hybrid. He is a nigga and a Jewish guy. Yeah, perfect. He's Jew-ish. That, that's actually perfect. Oh, Drake dropped that sexy red video. I still got some love to you. I to me. I to me. Divorced? Bro, who doesn't get divorced these days? Fuck ethnicity. Who doesn't get divorced? She might get that G-Wagon out of me.
Bro, everybody be getting divorced. To in today's day and age, marriage is just like like I always tell you, a contract, a relationship. Now instead of us just breaking up, we gotta sign papers and see where the, where the assets are hitting. Let me let the rest of this fucking stupid ass shit play. Stand culturally, how important it is for my black children to be proud to be black. Even when she didn't birth these children, she still their mother. Nobody's gonna do that like a black woman. Yeah. Nobody's gonna, mm -hmm. and, and that's not putting down other people, but that's say before you criticize me now. Yeah. I'm gonna look at your life decisions. Yeah. And if you, if your, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if your life decisions didn't bring you to a black woman, then a lot of the shit you say, might not be that's a credit right. with me. So I got a critic, you know, I got a critic. Of, yeah, I know this nigga don't like me. That's right. I know this nigga don't like me. <laughs> I don't act like this nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? This nigga been accused of all kind of <laughs> up shit. But when I seen that nigga wife, oh, nigga. Yeah. When I see this nigga again, I'm putting this nigga to the side. Yeah. I'm pulling your nigga card because you can't critique me about being black. I live in a black neighborhood. I grew up in a black community. That's I didn't right. move three inches from the neighborhood I grew up in. Still held the same black high school and college and elementary schools I went to. And you can't get blacker than me because when I wake up in the middle of the night, I wake up next to a black wife. That's right. Are we supposed to do this for, for Killer Mike? I think that's what he want. Oh. <laughs> Biracial and up for me. From my experience, I'm not trying to be uppercut, backhanded, flying knee, Bruce Lee kicked, slapped, cussed at, yelled at while you're wearing a weave. I'm straight, bro. My religious, some scientifics. Rel science is religion. Everything leads back to science, the creation of human beings. Everything on earth leads to science. Do I believe in a higher power, a creator, a God that created all this? Absolutely. You said, am I ever doing vlogs? Fuck no. It said it's being black an instant no starter for you. What if she's amazing and everything? Listen, if I'm gonna deal with somebody that's playing games and all that type of shit, I just I'm not gonna choose a black chick that's gonna do it. I'm not gonna play hard to get with a black chick. I'm not gonna fucking you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna argue with a black chick. I'm not like I'm not doing anything that I could do with another chick with a black chick. It's a waste of my time. No, I'm not half Hispanic. We'll find out what I really am when the 23 and me comes in. My base is black though, clearly. You follow my snap. I don't even be posting on there. We don't we're gonna do the 23 and me reveal. I'm gonna order it tomorrow. And we, we're finally gonna do it 2024 early, all right? Griffith Hawk. Thank you for the song. I know. Remember, I was supposed to do it years ago and I didn't do it, but now I promise I'll do it. I promise I'll do it. <laughs> Somebody said, look at my hairline. All right. Wh what about it, broke ass nigga? What about it? You seen it receive? Somebody banned that bitch ass nigga out of my chat. Niggas are like, yeah, niggas are always trying to find an imperfection about me. There, there isn't one. Nigga, if I was going to go bald, I went bald years ago. You do a DNA test. Are not required to dispose your DNA after using it. Them niggas really got access to your shit after you're done. Then what am I supposed to do? Curl pattern is kind of loose. Yeah. I mean, what black person is is 100% black? 
you're black, but no black person is a no American black is a hundred percent African American. You coming in here with no sub talking about no tacking, no pussy for you. You want to watch me play tacking instead of slot and hot goodness. Would I date an African? If I was going to date a black woman, she'd have to be African. But would I date an African American? non-biracial woman no never again it just doesn't make any sense you you bring no culture to the table you bring no language to the table you bring nothing to the table for me but argumentative bullshit and judgmental oh, so a I judgmental see, lifestyle a black woman. like why no, I always grade. I always grade ice queens to the, almost to the lowest of the totem pole. You guys know that. So no, I'm not a milkman. There's a ton of supportive black women out there. I'm sure there is, but I ain't interested. I'm not going to play fake just to get sisters on my side. Like, if you fuck with me, cool. If not, like, me and sisters, we make excellent friends. But relationship-wise, bump heads. I would show this, but it's a fight. I think it's a fight, so I don't think I could show it. So I ain't going to risk it. Guys, when I say things, it doesn't mean that I'm right. It means that I'm telling you things based off of my experience. So don't look at this and be like, I'm trying to change your mind based off of my experience. It's just, that's how I feel. Every time I bring up black chicks, I bring up wigs and weave and being loud. How much more stereotypical can you get? All the Latinas, you know, have got big attitudes and are crazy. But when black do it, women do it, it's a problem. Facts. So here's my thing about that. So the thing is, if I'm going to, if somebody's going to yell at me, at least they can do it in Spanish. And at least if they're yelling at me, they got real hair to do so. Why would I want to hear Balroganese when I could just have a Latina chick just yell at me in Spanish for real hair and look cute while doing it? Or I could just look at Lace Front, Timu Glu, Wiggage and Weavage speaking Balroganese. Did I have bad experiences with black women in relationships? Yep, I've been uppercut, drop kicked, um, slapped, backhanded, scratched, um, basically physic, basically physically abused in every relationship I've been in with black women. Tiger uppercut, stone cold, stunnered, pedigreed, all while they was wearing wiggage and weepage. Now that's why I say like everything I say, like guys, I honestly believe all women are crazy. Okay. I'm not saying they're not. I just told you Asian chicks are really crazy, too. But. It's just sexier when they get crazy. That's all I'm saying, like, because it's different. It's not like watching them. It's not like watching next Friday or Friday or a ghetto film. It's something different if it's an Asian chick to get crazy or Latina, like just speaking Spanish and. Like, it's different. It's like, ooh. But if you scream and yell it, bitch ass nigga, <laughs> with weave glue it. You stupid ass nigga, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, I want no parts. You gotta remember, guys, I came out of a black vagina. Just from my experience, I personally would not. Be in another relationship with an African American woman that's not biracial. It always end up in crash and burn, always drama, bullshit, yelling, calling me a bitch ass nigga. I just don't want to experience it again. A black chick from the Caribbean is not African American. A Dominican chick from Dominican Republic is not African-American. An African chick is not African-American. You get what I'm saying? 
I'm talking about African American chicks. I'm not talking about black women as outside of America. I'm talking about African American chicks. Oh, come on, y'all just saying random shit. Black UK women, they basically like American, still wearing wiggage and weavage with British twist. They just got, they just bar all gets with an accent. Oh, look at this clip though. What do you see? A clip with three black women arguing with each other. African American. Hold up. Mind you, her daughter's right next to her. Couldn't even just deal with customer service correctly. Straight up rogging. Are we allowed to show shit like this? So they're jumping. They're jumping the, the mother. It's a fight. All right, I'll watch it myself. I'll, I'll commentate for you. Oh, Got the mom on the ground, pulling her hair, jumping her, beating up the daughter. I got him. No, no, I got it. You good? You good? Whoa. The black, the black woman that was working here is on top of an eleven-year-old girl. Damn, she was literally beaten on the kid. Whoa. Whoa. do it again. Tasha again. Tasha again. Whoa. I am fucking with this week, Hey. a little week. I mean, the little girl held her own, though. For those to be two grown women, she didn't get knocked out, stumped out. She helped her mom the best way she could. Uh, yeah, that's just something I wouldn't want to deal with. You know, a black woman in customer service is probably one of the worst experiences you'll ever have. Let's act like I'm calling Spectrum. Let's act like my internet got cut off. Yes, I was actually calling. Wait, hold on. Hello, Spectrum. Spectrum, uh, customer service, how may I help you? Already with a snarly attitude. Um, okay. Yeah, so I had a question. I was wondering why my internet was out. Call, you guys said it was no outage, but for some reason my internet is still out. Is there any way you could reset the connection for me on your side? Uh, reset the connection, sir? Did you try to unplug everything before you gave us a call? I tried all the steps considering that I've had Spectrum for so many years. That's why I'm calling because you're kind of like my last straw. So I want to make sure if you guys can reset it on your end um, internally through the system. Um, yeah. Hold on, sir. Bleep. Start playing the shit. She come back on five minutes later. Yes. Hello, sir. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. 
Um, could you just unplug your battery for me? Yeah, we gonna reset it on on my side and um, yeah, reset it. Give us a couple minutes. I'm gonna reset it on my side and then yeah, hold on, sir. Oh man, don't let you be an ugly black man in a DMV. You're fucked. Now see me, I can get away with it because I'm an attractive black guy. So the side piece from Blueface saying she was prego, the one that nah is that is it like new new shit or old shit? Um, the DMV, if you're an ugly black man in the DMV, you're fucked. Now, see me, I get away with it because I'm handsome and I don't really have to say too much. And I'm extremely polite because I know how to, I know how black women work. You don't want to have any spectacle of attitude at the DMV with a black woman. You're fucked, especially if you're ugly. But if you're an attractive black guy, when you go up to the DMV lines, please be on your best behavior to get the most polite service from those black queens that work at the DMV, or it's going to be a long day at the DMV. They might give you a motherfucking number where your ass don't get called for an hour. I watched it. The last time I went to the DMV, a couple of months ago, I watched a black woman chew up every nigga that came in line. Extremely rude. Well, sir, you didn't fill out the paper you were supposed to fill. Go over there, fill out the paper, come back. But who do it? But sir, take the paper, fill it out, come back when you're ready. Next. Like, that's how she was talking to people. No bullshit. I come up, I'm like, she's like, okay, excuse me. Oh, so you waited in my line to, um, oh, so you just, so basically you were saying that she was waiting on me. Okay, I see you came to my line on purpose. So how may I help you, sir? I'm like, I came in there thinking, I was just like, man, she's going to be rude to me. But at the same time, I am handsome. Man. Black women love a handsome black man. So, yeah, I thought I was going to get chewed up. Bro, she was rude to every everybody else that came in that line. She was rude as fuck. I popped up. She wasn't rude. I said a little flirtatious comment. I just gave her my shit. So, okay, you mind going over there and fill that out for me and then come right back to the line when you're ready. I was like, Shh, glad I'm not ugly. Fuck. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out the DMV. Let me see what yeah, you said. I actually just went to the DMV a week or two ago. It was a row of older black women. I am 19 and was getting me first NYC ID. All I had to do was be charming and crack some jokes I was out of there in 45 minutes. Meanwhile, the people- Why they cut the shit off? Meanwhile, the people hours before you got sunken in chairs miserably. Facts. Man, black women in customer service. <laughs> You're in for a long fucking day. They don't be giving a fuck on the phone. They don't give a fuck in person either. All right, let me see what you say. You said from an outside perspective, you notice Similar pattern is someone from an immigrant background, Somalia, like no matter if the culture encourages community, healthy family structures, things like financial problems or simply illegal type stuff will break once it becomes a norm among the truest context. In this context, black women that you're talking about never experience what healthy relationships look like. True. Siggy GG, shout out for the four months. You. Did I ever deal with a wrong flight attendant? No. I've never even seen a black flight attendant before. I didn't even know they existed. So who is this chick? Somebody said this nigga stay wife and a hoe. So Freddie Gibbs wifed up somebody. I don't know who it is, but Dark game. Thank you for the seven months. Destroy all rogs. Low T three rogs. Low T three thunder. <laughs> you said that, not me. 
She says, I love you unconditionally, Freddie Gibbs. Who is this chick? Don't tell me it's another it's another adult film. Be careful in the comments. I ain't clicking on this shit. This is all I'm doing. And that background looks so clean. It looked fake. Is this a real background? Why does this look fake? Bro, that's a hell of a camera. She got an OF. She's an OF girl. In Dubai. So. What's her Instagram? She has her cheeks spread all over Twitter. Mm. Man, I don't see nothing in the comments. Oh. Now, they were saying, like, as soon as Freddie Gibbs posted that shit, his ex-girl, the, the porn star, his ex-girl, posted a picture of his ass cheek spread it. Now, I didn't see the picture, but I guess she got mad and she posted a picture of his ass cheek spread it on Twitter. I didn't see it, but that's just what I heard. That's what I'm saying, guys. You got to be careful, like. Some chicks will want to eat your ass and shit like that just to say they ate your ass as like to weaponize eating your ass. Let's read this while we're here. Tekken 8 has sold 2 million copies since launch. Bandai Namco says the sales are better than expected. Tekken 8 is selling faster than Tekken 7. Tekken 7 took around two months to sell 2, many, two million units while Tekken 8 um, did it in under three weeks. That's because that's what a quality game looks like. Um, that's what happens when you take your time and actually, you know, listen to your gut feeling and don't release a game early. Now imagine if Tekken came out early. Oh man, it'd be fucked. So let's see what the Street Fighter 6 bullshit. Street Fighter 6 did a million in five days, two million in a month. And did three million in seven months. Mortal Kombat 1, nearly three million in under two months. Three plus million in January 2024. Tekken 8 is two million in under three weeks. How the fuck did MK sell so much but nobody plays it? Oh yeah, Tekken 8 needs hella balancing. That heat system shit needs to be crazy balanced. The title sold. The thing is, I heard MK always sells a lot, but the thing is, if you're in Netherrealm and you know you can sell, why not just come out with quality shit from the start? There's no lobby system. It's, lacked, it's lacking crazy amounts of content compared to MK11. The costumes are ass. The stages are not rememberable. The music sucks. The, the combat, whatever the fuck, cameo system is god awful trash. It's just MK Timu. Yeah, before they drop these stupid ass DLC characters in Tekken, just tweak the heat system. 
Yeah, cut all my heat, speaking of heat system. Yeah, there's, like I said, when does Ed drop, guys? February 29th, so the end of the fucking month. Dex, he's asleep right there. Yeah, he chilling. 27. Yeah. I'm not rushing the rest of the month so I can wait for some fucking character. When he drops, he drops. All right. So this is what we're looking at um, for a CPT. Um, a lot of these motherfuckers, I don't know who the fuck these people are. Uh. Group A, I don't know who anybody is outside of like, I think I know who Kawano is, or maybe I don't. I know who Fidom is, clearly. Uh, group B, the first guy, I know him from nepotism through punk. Um, of course, I know Big Bird. And I don't know who else these people are. Group C, Do, and Crimson. Don't know the rest of these people are. Group D. I know Gatchikan. I know Takamaru or Takamaru, whatever the fuck his name is. Isn't I don't even think he's Asian. So why does he even have that name? Um, I think. I'm not, wait, who's Vowmaster again? Sounds familiar. Chun player. Yeah, okay. So I recognize those people. Three people in Group D. Group E, Snake Eyes, of course. Fudo, Zian. That, that sucks because those are three people I want to see 